couple of things. Let me just give you a little bit of coaching here. You see here, you can you got a drag here. They can they can pull line. Hey, it's hitting pretty good. Or you can tighten it. One of the worst problems somebody makes is while they reel the rod, they hold it down here, they reel this way, like that, or they pump and they go like this. Okay? That's some really bad things. This is what I'd like you to do. Take your time, okay, and get your rod so that it's up in the air this way, just like that, okay? Now he's pulling pretty good, so you want to kind of second guess him just a little bit. And as you reel, let, let your drag go. Now he's pulling, he's pulling good now. He just, he just pulled pretty good. So a lot of times you can adjust your drag right here, and the line will go in and go out. It's a nice fish. Spring Kings, that's what it's all about. Okay. You know, there's nothing nicer than seeing a nice fish like that at the boat. Nothing nicer at all. Look at him. Isn't this pretty? That's what it's all about right here. Something like this, you know, a little winter black mouth. Not a big spring king like we're looking for, but barbecue size, this is a nice fish. Let me show you how the hooks went through the mouth and the way I've designed them. Let me show you that. See that right there? One hit here, another one hit there. That's what it's all about right there. Sticky sharp to the nail. Hello everyone and welcome. In this short, we're going to look at our table of contents and we're going to shoot over to, aha, how many times have you wanted to get up to Port Angeles and fish but didn't quite know the area? So we're going to go to North Sound, page 11. So let's find 11. 9, 10, 11. Port Angeles. In this area, you see the smokestack. As the smoke travels down the Straits of Juan de Fuca, this time it's moving towards the west. Other times it'll come out of the northeast. And the Swedish fishers would say, when a northeasterly blows, the fish no bite. <laughs> But this would be an area for winter blackmouth. I like the winter hole, 60 feet of depth. You also have the humps off of the tower. This whole area has been really, really productive over the years. I've caught some 35, 40 pound kings right along the troll here, this 90 to 120 foot. Whoo, boy, I tell you, that has been a good area. Halibut. If you want to get into some halibut, this area in here, I believe there's an old net on the sea floor that's uh, kind of keeping the shrimp into that area because it probably brings them plankton to eat or however their food chain is. But the halibut like laying in that area. So when you're working your gear along that bottom in this area, be careful because it's easy to hang up in that old net webbing, all right? But you're going to find good success. Now, if you look at my almanac on the best times to be up there to fish for winter blackmouth, January. Although you need to check your regs so that you don't get nailed for fishing illegally in closed waters. And it's hard to say when it'll be open or enclosed. So please check your regs before you consider doing some of the things in this book. Because it's outdated as far as regulations go. But far as how to fish these trolls, it doesn't change over the years. Actually, if the fish are there and you're on them, you'll do a lot better knowing where it's at with the rips and knowing which direction the current is flowing. That's critical when you fish in the Straits of Juan de Fuca. The best color combinations I've used, aha, how about my spoon? <laughs> I've done real well on spoons out there. 
I use a 34 inch leader and I you go behind my rotating flasher and you can see this one's caught a few fish it's pretty bent up and of course I do like this combination the squid it look how old it is the skunk hair fly if you're interested in this book I will send you a free skunk hair fly however I cannot build these hooks anymore Mustad no longer even makes the blank so you're looking at last of the real true dock hook there's a lot of copies out there since I started building this hook in 1981 1982 I put this hook out and today I see other companies copying my bend but isn't that something to see <laughs> yeah the Dr. T. Hokey hook now this is a Mustad 92553 stainless steel XLT meaning extra long tip XLT you don't want just the XL you want that extra long tip because when I showed you the hook in the opening shot on my thumb see that point see that length there yeah that makes a big difference okay until next time everybody be safe out on the water and we'll continue bringing you more information about the chart book and how to fish the different hot spots of Washington's best salmon areas you could think of. Bye-bye, everyone, and thanks for watching.